It's time to make a toast to the holidays. Our next guest has just the right cocktail to get the party started. Making her debut on Virginia this morning, we welcome Courtney Obland from Sorva Syrup. This is a great story. Uh, you guys kind of made this up because you couldn't find what you wanted, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, my husband and I like to make cocktails at home, and we couldn't find any simple syrups coming off the shelf that were free from artificial ingredients and additives. So we decided to start making it ourselves and infusing it with different botanicals. And uh, that was about five years ago, and we kind of grew from that. You know, it's interesting. Everybody's uh, conscious of what they uh, what they're eating and drinking nowadays. And you guys, uh, I think you said you like to sit on the front porch and enjoy a cocktail, and you couldn't find a, a really good simple syrup. And you think, well, it's simple. How hard could it be? So you you, you kind of tackled it. Yeah, you're right. It is very simple. Um, we just got tired of making it at home, and we're just trying to buy some that was already made. Um, but they all had uh, corn syrup and extracts, and uh, we decided we didn't want to go that route. So all yeah. of our color and flavor comes straight from using the real plant ingredients. And um, like you said, we are conscious about what we put in our bodies, and we want a, a healthier alternative when we make drinks at home. All right, let's quit talking about it and get to doing it. Uh, you have a couple of different things. Are you going to do the uh, children's uh, drink first, or do you want to do the adult first? <laughs> let's start with the children's first, because you can always okay. make it adult if you like. So mm -hmm. the great drink for everybody that doesn't have any alcohol in it is going to be our apple cider. It's very easy to make. Um, all of our recipes are meant to be just a couple of ingredients at home that you can easily find and easily make um, for anybody that is um, enjoying them at home. So our apple cider is just three ingredients. It's going to be your apple juice, um, unsweetened 100%. I'm gonna add a little bit of our all natural cinnamon syrup to it. And then the secret ingredient, don't tell anybody, but it is whole cloves. You put those in and you're simply going to heat that up in your microwave for a minute or so. And I always like to put some fancy garnishes on it so that I feel um, like I'm drinking a fancy drink at home. So I'm going to do a cinnamon stick and some orange slices. And you have a delicious warm drink for those cold days. And if you so choose, you can spike it um, with some bourbon or spiced rum, um, which I have right here. Yeah, and of course, you know, uh, you said you put it in the microwave for a few minutes. You could uh, probably do it on the stove, and those, uh, the, the smell would uh, fill up the whole house, too. Yeah, so a better way, if you're um, trying to serve for a few more people, is I like to throw it in the crock pot or do it on the stove, and you would just do bigger um, proportions um, for that kind of recipe, and it makes your house smell amazing, and it's also delicious to boot. And it's much better tasting than potpourri. So there's that. All right. <laughs> you have another one for us that you're going to fix? I sure do. Yeah. So the next two options are going to be our cocktail options. Um, this one is a ginger old fashioned. Again, it's only three ingredients, so it's very easy to make at home. Um, but the nice thing about our syrups is that you can tailor them to your taste. So if you don't like ginger, you can do cinnamon or vanilla bean and make completely different cocktails that way. So... This bourbon old fashioned is going to be your bourbon. I'll put it in my cocktail shaker here and do it upright. We got two ounces of bourbon, one ounce of ginger syrup, and a little dash of bitters. Don't leave that out because it does make a difference. And you're gonna shake it up with some ice and then you're gonna pour it into your glass here. And again, make sure to add your garnishes because that's what makes it special at home. I have some cherries. I like a lot of cherries and a little bit of citrus peel and you have your old fashioned. Well, you zip through that. You know, I had uh, my favorite aunt, old fashions were her favorite drink. And I was always intimidated. I'd look in like the barkeeper's handbook or whatever, and I'd look at that and I'd go, Oh no, I'm not even gonna try this at home. So, but you zipped right through that. It seemed very simple and straightforward. 
Yeah, they are. And that's the whole idea. You know, we don't want people to be intimidated to make drinks at home, uh, whether they're mocktails or cocktails. We want them to be easy and accessible for everybody. Um, Because, you know, the winter's cold. This is really nice to have at home. It'll warm you up. And it's really not hard. So our website has all of these recipes. And we have tons more at sorbastirups.com. So um, there's ideas for, for everybody there. Well, I think we got time for one more. If you have one more, I don't. I don't know if you had one more ready for us. I do. I do. So okay, this great. is a great option for your New Year's Eve toast. So everybody likes to drink champagne, then of course, but we've made it a little bit different with a twist to give you something um, different and special. It's been a tough year, so you might as well treat yourself a little bit. So this one, you're simply going to do your champagne. You're going to add a touch of our lavender syrup made straight from lavender flowers. Wow. You're gonna mix it up. And then of course, you're gonna make your garnishes. Um, I like to put in cranberries or other types of berries. Um, Here I have some raspberries and mint I'm gonna throw in just to make it feel a little bit special. And then you can toast to a brand new 2021 next year. Wow, and very colorful at the same time. And I bet it tastes great. They taste great and um, you are so quick and and you really make it look very simple. And that's why, of course, you've uh, you've been so successful. Thank you for sharing your recipe, Courtney. And uh, by the way, happy holidays and happy new year with that special drink. For more information, you can visit SorvaSyrup.com. Please drink responsibly. And we hope to see you on the other side of a very quick break.